हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल एक्चुअली शो यू ए अल्टीमेट कैनवा क्लोन इमेज एंड पी डी एफ एडिटर दैट आई डेवलप्ड इन साइड माई वेबसाइट फ्री मीडिया टूल्स डॉट कॉम सो आई बेसिकली बिल्ड ए टूल राइट हेयर एंड इफ यू विजिट फ्री मीडिया टूल्स डॉट कॉम यू विल एक्चुअली फाइंड दिस टूल विच इज कैनवा क्लोन अल्टीमेट इमेज एंड पी डी एफ एडिटर सो इफ यू गो टू दिस टूल द इंटरफेस विल लुक समथिंग similar to canva you will basically if you visit canva.com if you visit their editor it is same to same you will see that uh, the menu remains the same the logo if you see this is actually the side menu all these things all the shapes all the images are there so these are the images that you can select it is all coming from pexels unsplash api so you can see that these are the different text that you can use and uh, these are all the elements that you can see you can delete elements you can add more pages as well so if you click this add page button a new page will be added so this is the official canva editor if you want to create a design so if you visit the canva editor it it, it will look something like this you will see very similar this is our own tool right here so this is i made this tool using uh, react js node js and express and if i just uh, show you the images panel you can upload your own images as well simply upload and here you can select your own custom png or jpg images which are there inside your computer so you can drag and drop it's very feasible you can see the interface it's very much like canva right here you can add multiple images you can add text as well so you can just edit your images you can see that just you can resize your images like this so it is drag and drop and then if you want to add some text as well you can even add the text as well so simply drag your text and right here double click and just edit your text so it is very simple you can see that you can drag and drop in which in whichever position you want to place your text so once you are done if you want to export this design to a png file you can have this export button ready made if you click this export button your image will be downloaded as a png image and if you try to open this uh, okay i think this is the first page so what you need to select here go to the file menu and here you will select export page 2 as png and now your only the second page will be exported and now you can see the image is successfully exported to a png file and now if you want to export this to a pdf file as well you can even do that the select this option all pages as pdf so now all the pages that you design will be converted to pdf so if i show you basically delete this page so only if a single page is there and if you now so you can even locally run this application if you see we are running this application local host 5173 i think we are also running this application no okay we can start this locally uh, the application is available so the link is given guys of the source code if you want to purchase this i have given the link in the description so you can go to my website procodestore.com and you will actually get after payment you will be redirected to google drive where you will actually get the zip file and the very first thing you need to do after you get the zip file you need to extract all the content and this will be the actual api folder which will be the back end code which will be written in node js and express you will see that and this is the front end which is written in typescript and react js so the job is very simple you need to open the folder and first of all install the react js module so just type this command npm i so this will create this node modules folder and it will install all the modules of this react js front end so this will hardly take 15 to 20 seconds depending upon your computer speed and uh, after that you need to navigate to the api folder to actually install all the back end modules so this will just complete right here So before purchasing it on the checkout page I have given the live demo link so you can try out the application before purchasing it 
now you can go to the navigate to the api folder and then execute the same command which is npmi so this will also install all the modules which are mentioned in the package.json file you will see that we are using these dependencies and uh, if you see this is our app.js file and uh, now i basically written a script in the package.json file in this folder concurrently so it will actually start your backend server and the front end server concurrently at the same time so just navigate to the root folder and just type this command npm run start so this will actually start the front end and the back end server at the same time so now your server is listening 5173 you just need to navigate to this endpoint localhost 5173 so now your application will open locally on the localhost 5173 so you can go to file here and you can just see if you want to export this to a png file you will see your ex design has been exported to png if you want to export it to pdf so now, now the same thing will be exported to the pdf file as well so this is actually it will be exported so I don't know why it is not working on my machine but you can try so this is actually the fully fleshed editor you can see all these images are coming through uh, and unsplash and pixels and all these shapes you can also see you can add new page as well so you can see that you can add all these shapes and basically you can change the color as well any color you can see so you can see that guys we have developed this canva clone from scratch we haven't used any third party dependency it is all written in typescript react.js node.js and express so we haven't used any third party library or third party uh, subscription library we have written this from scratch so you can use this as unlimited number of times so there is no need to replace any api key or you don't need to actually go to any third party website or develop your account so it is written entirely in from scratch so you can see that uh, you can also control the opacity as well all these things you can individually lock the elements as well so there is a lock option now this position is has been fixed because we have locked this position or you can unlock as well and then these are the multi layers so the, these are different layers you can see that you can just if you add multiple elements on the page so this is actually the text that you have added so you can control the positioning of the text you can also control the font so various fonts are available so you can see that all these fonts are available from google fonts so you can see as you drag down multiple fonts will be there you can ch change to whichever font that you like so you can see that just select and automatically it will change you will see that and uh, after this you can even change the background color as well to whichever background color you want you can see that so gradient here you can change individually select your favorite color from the color picker similarly for the gradient as well so after you are done you can simply place your text and uh, now for changing the text color there is this option right here you can change to any color of your choice you can see that simply select the text and now the color will be changed so you can see that so this so you can control this uh, accordingly guys uh, to actually make it is very useful for making uh, any sort of thumbnails you are making for social media websites such as facebook instagram youtube thumbnail you can also make you can control the alignment of the text you can place it in the central left position so the link is given guys you can directly purchase it and from my website you will get this directory structure i have shown you step by step how to actually start this application on localhost you can even deploy this this application as well if you see there are various effects all this box or box shadow effect you can see that all these effects is there thickness you can control offset direction of the shadow so i'm not comfortable in uh, 
making thumbnails so i can't show you all the features so if you are a pro in developing thumbnails you can try this application so you can go to my link uh, free media tools slash canva ultimate editor so you can try out this tool before purchasing it just see all the features which are there you can see that so you can as you can see if you want to have uh, multiple pages click on add page so now you can have multiple pages as well so the, there are uh, templates also available so if you want to use these templates simply click on them and it will also you can edit these templates replace it with your own company name if you want to make a logo as well you can also do it simply change the text right here and then click on export and it will actually export this to a png file image file so you can also see the live preview as well by clicking the preview button from the file menu and uh, then you can also control the opacity as well positioning as well if you and if you have multiple elements multiple things you can control it the position of it by going to position and then you can see by the mouse you can control the positioning so this is a multi-layered editor so if you have multiple elements you can control their position like this so these are all the images coming from third party website and you can also search for if you want to get computer related images simply select So the support for your own images are also there. So you can select your own images which are there. Simply drag and your image will be there. So it's an ultimate editor guys uh, for actually building any sort of things. And if you want to download this design to a JSON file you can even do that as well. So if you want to save your work let's suppose you can see it uh, your design has been saved as a json file now you can import this design as well by simply importing it so you can import this design directly so if you save it you can import it as well by selecting the design that you so i think we saved it using file name so yeah you need to import the same file that you downloaded you will see file3.json so you need to import the same file so then you can even if you want to have a custom size so 1280 by 720 you are building a youtube thumbnail click on create new design so you will see your canvas will be resized the width will be 1280 and the height is 720 so you will see that so now you can control the canvas size by going to file create new design or you have various templates as well if you want to develop a facebook post so if you select it automatically the canvas will be resized then we have a facebook cover instagram post so all these social media networks have pre-made sizes so we have configured it automatically for you but still if you want to make a custom size you can provide the width and the height right here and click on create new design and you will be see so it's a very good editor guys you will see that each and everything you can control and customize right here and uh, full source code you will get and if you still face any problem you can contact me on my email address and phone number which is given on my website so this was uh, editor guys so if you are interested the link is given in the description of this uh, live stream so you can check out these are the different templates which are there if you go to the template section th these will be di different th uh, templates which are pre-designed for you so not a lot but still i think it's uh, 12 templates are there so if you want to 
use any of these templates simply click on it and it will show the live preview you will see that so now you can individually just change the text you can see that you can change your text all these elements are customizable you will see that and you will see that all these from the position as well simply go to the position and on in the template all the elements right here you can also replace this image as well accordingly control the opacity of this image you will see that and here the text property you can change it increase the font size of the text you can change to italic you can underline the text upper case you can apply various effects to this text you can change it apply some shadow you will see that so each and every uh, effect is there guys you will see that so then we also have these uh, different kinds of frames available alphabetically numbers as well so if you want to use these frames you can even use that as well so it can be a mini canva clone i it is not the full canva clone but still it has the most features that canva support so it's a good editor you can see that now the pdf is working <laughs> i still yeah so if you go to export this page as pdf now if you open this pdf file you will see that the pdf has been successfully exported so this is just my internet connection was not working so now you can try this on your own computer now the pdf is also working you will see that so if you want to export this into a png file or you can export this to a pdf file as well all the two options are working so the source code guys is given in the description you can directly purchase it from procodestore.com the link is given and before you purchase it i have on the checkout page i have given the live demo link you can navigate manually as well by going to free media tools canva ultimate editor and try this before purchasing it and still if you have problems after purchase you can contact me and i will help you setting up this project and uh, if you want to deploy this project it's very simple by purchasing domain name you can simply build this project react js project by simply executing npm run build so this will create a dist folder like this you can see that the project project is building it will create this dist folder like this so this will create the minified code for you so you will see that the project has been built it will create this assets folder which will contain the minified css and the javascript code and that's all so this is the front end code will be there and now this is a back end code so now you just need to upload the api folder into their hosting plan and then this dist folder so still if you have issues in deployment after you purchase it you can contact me i will help you de deploy this application to a real domain name so thank you very much guys for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing you in the next live stream